Hey everybody, welcome back to my Subaru for some more devotions on emotions. And today we're going to talk about part three of anger. And hopefully what I've been able to communicate so far is that anger is not the problem. Anger is normal. It is okay to be angry. In fact, we are commanded to be angry. But the issue is how we respond in anger, what we say in anger, what we do in our anger. And so the Bible says very clearly, be angry, but do not sin. And I left you with this question last time. When you're angry, what are you defending? What are you defending? See, anger is usually the result of us um, defending that what ma- that which matters most to us. And so, for example, we get slighted. Someone offends us, and we get angry. Uh, and we're angry. Uh, but, but the question we need to ask is, what are we defending? Are we trying to defend our image? Are we trying to defend our reputation? Are we trying to defend what other people think about us? Um, and so when you think about Jesus getting angry, what was he really defending? He wasn't defending a building made of mortar and bricks and that kind of stuff. He was defending something that was so essential to Jewish worship, and that was the temple of God. And so imagine, I imagine anyway, uh, for example, someone just absolutely mocking and trashing the reputation of someone I love very much. For example, my wife. Love her immensely. If someone wants to trash her and mock her uh, and misuse her name and her reputation, and if I don't get angry, then guess what? Something is wrong with me. And so anger is not our real issue. It is a disordered anger. And a disordered anger is always the result of, get this, disordered love. Let me say it again. Anger is not our issue. Anger is not our problem. It is a disordered anger that we struggle with. And a disordered anger comes from always a disordered love. So here's here's what I mean by that. Let let me give you another example. Uh, Let's say that um, your child gets caught stealing. Okay? And you get angry. But the question is, is why are you really angry? Are you angry because you see your child headed down a path that is harmful and hurtful and self-destructive? Or are you angry because now you're outed and your reputation, what other people will think of you, and oh, you're not a very good parent. See, there are uh, different kinds of anger. And, and what we should be angry at is at a child who's making poor decisions, at a child who is uh, headed down a path of self-destruction. And so we need to really think. And take responsibility. I've said this before about emotions. We have to take responsibility for what we do and what we say uh, when we are uh, driven emotionally by something, especially the emotion of anger. And so, we're trying to understand what is at the root of our anger. What is at the root of our anger? Uh, let me give you uh, some, I'll call them different levels of anger, different uh, stages of anger. Um, level one, we'll, we'll call it level one. Um, everyday things that we face. Uh, your, your kid spills his milk, your boss yells at you, your, your wife or your spouse doesn't respond to you the way you had hoped when you came home. Uh, you get angry. And that angry is often because you just feel hurt. Someone hurts you, and a very natural, normal response is to be angry because of that. Okay, that's level one. Level two. Level two, or a different type of anger, may stem from things that happened to you in the past. Things that were said to you. Someone deeply hurt you. Someone took advantage of you. Uh, Someone 
took something that was valuable from you. Um, and that could have been an object, could have been something that they literally stole, or it could have been your reputation or, or something that um, is valuable to you. And, and they took it. Uh, maybe you experienced betrayal, abuse, neglect, and you haven't yet fully dealt with those hurts, those losses in your past. And what happens is we bring those into our present life. When we haven't fully forgiven, when we haven't fully let go, we often bring those hurts into our present life because we can't let it go. But then there's another level of anger. And few people are really aware of this. And it may take you some time to really think through this, uh, but I believe it to be true because I've seen it in my own life and I've I've read it and heard it from people a whole lot more godly and a whole lot smarter than me. But few people really get this. When they, when they dig deep down underneath it all, they're angry at God. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, they have health issues and God hasn't healed. They have financial struggles, struggles and it seems like God has not provided. Uh, someone you loved... Um, Prayers went unanswered. Uh, hopes and dreams were never realized. And some of you may have even had the, the occasion where you felt led by God to do something or to go somewhere. And it didn't work out the way you had hoped. And you know, because you're a good Christian, that you shouldn't be angry at God. But you are. And he knows it. You just won't admit it to yourself. And so, as believers, we've got to recognize what's beneath the hurt. What are, what, what's the root of our anger? Where is it really coming from? And so, I've asked you so far that when you feel the emotion of anger, to pause. Just hit the pause button. Let yourself cool down before you say anything or do anything. And pray, God, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Help me to respond in a godly way. And then I've asked you to, to pay attention to what's underneath the surface. Why are you really mad? What is it that you are defending? When you're mad, is your anger disordered? If your anger is disordered, it's because your love is disordered. And then finally, I want you to kind of maybe try to analyze what it is that you're angry at. What kind of level, what, what, what kind of anger is it? Is it, is it an anger that stems from hurts from the past? Is it an anger that just stems from unmet expectations today? Or is there deep beneath the surface um, something that you are maybe not even aware of at this time, but you're disappointed with God, you're angry at God. You wouldn't use that language probably, but someone wasn't healed. A hope, a dream, an aspiration, an expectation, whether it was a relationship that went bad, a job that went bad, uh, or or, or or plans that just didn't go as planned. And so, as you think about that, and you wrestle with that, give yourself some time, give yourself some space, sit still and quiet, and then ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what it is that you need to know, so that you can forgive, so that you can let it go, so that you can move forward in life and stop bringing past hurts, past unmet expectations into your present life, which is doing you no good today. God wants to free you of it. God wants to set you free from those things so that you can live in His love and joy today. And so let me close with prayer and just pray for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for each person that's taking time to listen to this short devotion about anger. 
And God, I pray that you just bring the light and the hope of your Holy Spirit into each of our hearts and minds so that we would see what we need to see, so that we'd be, we'd be aware of what we need to be aware of. Uh, so many of us, God, live on the surface, um, and yet there is a deep well uh, that each of us has. And so we just want to be aware of what's going on, God, because for some of us, it's hindering us, it's, it's tripping us up, it's got us going in circles like we're in a cul-de-sac, stuck in our faith, stuck in our spiritual growth. And God, we want you to set us free from that. So help us to see what we need to see, and be aware of what we need to be aware of, so that we can give it over to you and experience your healing and your power in our lives. Hey, God bless you guys. We're going to wrap this up with one more devotion on anger, uh, probably early next week. And so in the meantime, may the peace of God that passes all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. God bless you guys, and I look forward to seeing you soon.